How you doing, everybody? Um, I'm gonna choose the topic, you know, to speak about today, concerning um, dreams, especially um, in the entertainment business, music. For those people that are, you know, very passionate about music, um, I want to say that um, first of all, it's a blessing if you have identified something that you're passionate about or something that you love something that brings you joy in this life because that's not easy to find you know it's a lot of people out there they don't really know what their talent talent is or they don't really know what they're really passionate about you know and they're trying to find it you know and that's a, a really hard place um i believe that if you pray about that then god will reveal it to you but some of us we know what we love and we know what we're passionate about and especially to all my music heads out there that are very passionate about music and, and, and love music. Uh, don't let people discourage you from that because life is all about identifying the things that you love and being close to connected to those things. If you know you love music and that's a passion inside your heart, don't ever let that go. Find some way. To make that a part of your life for the rest of your life. Find some way. There is always a way. Giving up is not an option. See, a lot of, a lot of people may talk about you, especially if they, you know, mean, um, they look at situations like, okay, you're getting kind of old to do this, or you shouldn't be doing this, or this is what you should be doing. Don't listen to those people. They got their own life to worry about. They should be focused on what they want to do for themselves. Yet, they, you know, trying to tell you how you should live your life. This is your life. And if you enjoy music and it makes you happy and it's something that you're passionate about, you stay connected to that. Don't listen to those people. Don't let them play God in your life. You know, the people that talk like that, their mind is programmed and they don't even realize it. They looking at life from what people or whoever have made it to be where they say you got to be this and you can't be that. And well, you can't. It's too late to do that. You know what I'm saying? They, their mind is programmed. So they want you to be trapped. You know, you know, like like they are. First of all, the music business, it's a lot of politics. It's a lot of you out there that haven't made it yet because it's a lot of politics. It has nothing to do with your talent. It's a lot of people that's doing a lot of things to get to where they are. And you may not be willing to do that. But you have had some people that have quit the music business. Like, I see all this stuff. I see all what they what's being done. And I'm not going to do that, so I might as well drop out. No, no. That's not the way they think about things. You find the way to do what you want to do without that type of compromise. But those type of things do exist in the entertainment business. So, of course, it's, it, you know, it's going to be years and time tacked on to what you're trying to do. This is not like a four-year degree or a job. This is like a passion or goal you know, and a gift. It's not the same as going to school to be an electrician or whatever else you want to do. That has a period of time you go to school, you get done, and you... Um, and you you know, can get a job. But when you talk about entertainment, acting, singing, rapping, whatever, you know, that is a gift. And it's something, if you really have it, that is God, that God gave to you. So you have to work and take care of yourself. Because if you don't, you're going to starve to death. You can't be living off people, you know what I mean, talking about, I'm going to make it, I'm going to blow up, you know what I mean, you know, and you ain't doing nothing. You ain't working for yourself. You got to work as a man or woman. You got to take care of your responsibilities as you get older. You know, and things of that nature. But you should find the things you love and stay connected to your passion. Because that's what life is all about. That's, that's a reason to wake up every day and say, wow, you know, this is, this, is, this is something that I love and I'm passionate about. That's a reason to wake up every day and fight. Like I always say, your dreams are not a destination. Your dreams are a way of life. It's up to you to find some way 
to be connected to the things you love. Because when you happy, when you in, at peace and you, you know, have joy within yourself about your life, then you're going to be a happy person. Can't nobody take that happiness away from you. They can't take it away from you. But when you sad, when you are, when you are, you know, sad or melancholy person, or you don't have answers and you, you know, you're in pain, can't nobody fix that pain for you. It's a lot of people that have mental health issues and things like that, or you know, low self esteem, and no matter how much people encourage them, no matter how much people love them, they can't see it. They can't see it for themselves. And that shows you, can't nothing fix this but God. You know what I mean? People can't fix it by telling you how much they love you. And people still, stars and everything, commit suicide and this, that, and the third. Because that's how powerful what you're thinking about yourself is in your head. If music is what you love, find a way. Maybe maybe it's not rapping. Maybe it's writing for somebody. Maybe it's uh, starting your own label and finding acts, you know what I mean, that you like, you know. Or maybe you could be a high-powered A&R. Maybe you could go into business and start learning um, entertainment law, you know what I mean, to help people in that capacity. You know, find some way. as many jobs to do in the entertainment business, and you could be successful. You know, you could you could mix records and make some some of the greatest talents. They make five thousand dollars a mix. Five thousand dollars a mix. PR people, some of the top PR people in music make five thousand dollars a client. Don't quit music just because you having difficulty with something you're doing. Find a way to do it. There's always a way. Peace.